Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're gonna be riding some Lime scooters, starting at White Ave here, and going over toward downtown, and really as far as we can go to stay in the Lime Zone. There's maybe a 10 kilometer radius or so that you can stay within, so we might drive to the outskirts all around and go from basically, I know they run from 76th Ave on this side, which is the south side. I don't know how far they run north, but we're gonna ride around and have some fun. Let's do it. All right, as you can see, we got some protective equipment on because we have these things going about 40 kilometers an hour with two of us on there, so we have helmets on. I chose to wear some gloves. Is yours just really slow or you just go no, on slow? Like slow? Okay. Yeah. basically on your hands but you keep it back so you don't roll over the, the front. There you go. That's why you wear skate shoes. Holy Getting cocky because I'm wearing a helmet. You shall. Just like biking, you just pull up and hit the throttle. There you go. Where should we go because high level is slow. I think it'd be slow there too. It's only one lane it's really tight. Pacing you, you're going 18 kilometers an hour. <laughs> That's pretty good. 18, maybe 19? 19. eight kilometers for because it took me a while to get out of this yesterday so with these lime scooters they do have areas where you're not allowed to ride and they knock it down to eight kilometers an hour as your max speed so now when you have the throttle floored you can go seven kilometers an hour maybe eight if you're lucky i should have brought that oh look at this evo 5 baby this will be a car spotting video oh we got the brembo's on should have brought the little charcoal grill. We could, have, we could have cooked up some dogs. I'm just thinking the GPS's in these things aren't very good. Because you ride a little bit into a slow zone and it doesn't notice. And then it notices. And you probably have to get well outside for it to notice again. There we go. Wow. Get that jolt. Okay, now we're back up to full speed. So flat ground, these things will do about 18 or 19 kilometers an hour as we've seen already. Downhill, you can get them going as fast as 40 kilometers an hour or so. I know yesterday I had one up to 41 kilometers an hour. And when Sarah and I were on one together, we had it up to 41 or 42 going down a hill by the Mill Creek Pool. Do you want to go high level? 
Well, we can go down Walterdale if you want then. Or, yeah, okay, we can just speed it up. <laughs> it's a beautiful view. I think I'm faster than you. I am. Yeah, I'm gaining on you. I'm doing wheelies just while clicking your heels. sure he doesn't even know these things are out. Get my grandpa on one. Yeah, these are way better than the birds for breaking. How many horsepower? Uh, probably about one. Yeah, probably about one. So don't you have like a one, one horsepower drill? No, it's like a quarter horse is like a very powerful That was a good one. Control that throttle a little bit. Hello. That's fun. You can like go on and off the throttle and control it a little bit. All right, so we're taking a break here. We're now by the Royal Alex Hospital and we rode over to 111th Ave and that seems to be the furthest north that you can ride. So we were in the slow zone and we made it over here to this track raced around a few times and now we'll probably be heading back after we take a little break here. So here's our ride summary so far. 4.9 kilometers starting from the Strathcona area there over to Queen Mary Park and the Royal Alex area. 4.9 kilometers, an hour and three minutes and it cost $24.73. Not bad. So it looks like here 111th Ave is the furthest you can go and that's that green line there. So if I zoom in and place it over here, it'll show that this is red or orange and you can't go over there. So we are right here where the little blue is. So we can actually go a little further east down 107th Ave over here to, I guess where Stadium Road starts. And westbound, you can go as far as the Westmount area.
YouTube channel. I decided I'm the one they want to watch. The helmet? All right, so here was our ride back, eight kilometers, an hour and seven minutes. We tried to go to Grote Road and we were gonna try to go on a bike trail, but uh, that didn't really work out. So this is where we ended up, just off Whiteout. So thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button and... Leave a comment if you want me to have a YouTube channel. You got it. So the Lime scooters are $1.15 to unlock and then 35 cents per minute. My ride was probably about $60 today, give or take. A little bit under, like $55 or so. And that was for about two hours. Bye-bye. Mm.